Mary Williams showed up with placard in hand and an unceasing call for justice for her murdered daughter, Kimberly De Leon. It's quite apparent that the police have left the case for me to solve. I'm not a police officer. Mother of two, Kimberly De Leon, was shot and killed in cold blood inside her residence on the Mon in October 2018. According to William, the director of public prosecution's press conference left much to be desired. The DPP, he shied away from a lot of um, questions. Even when I tried to ask him, you know, on behalf of my daughter's case, he tried to shut me up so that the public will not know some of the things that I know. And I think as a DPP, if he's in, you know, his office is responsible for prosecuting cases, then if the police are not forthcoming with information on certain cases, he has a right to call them and ask, how far have you gotten with, with this case or what added information do you have? So that is why I said to him there's a breakdown or a lack of communication between him and the police. The unsolved murder of Kimberly De Leon and the stalled investigative process and lack of information provided to loved ones have only compounded the hurt and frustration, says the grieving mother, who remains critical of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the DPP's office. If you are telling me there's no way in the world you can send to get what you want tested, that's a blatant lie. Yon, that's a blatant lie. So it just tells me that the commissioner is sitting there, whatever they tell her, she will just absorb, and then she will not try to go in depth to find out, well, why this is still, um, um, uh, uh, you know, lacking, why is this not done, why are you taking so long? You know, based on um, meetings I've had with the DPP, he said the only thing they were waiting for was the translation of that document from Martinic. Williams was reportedly referencing a ballistic report she says was received more than two years ago and that was in need of being translated. To date, no arrests have been made in connection with the homicide. However, the matter remains an open investigation. When I tried to ask him that, he tried to stop me. When he was the one who told me that. Up until now, we cannot get a translation. What's next for you? What you doing? Well, there are some things I cannot say to the media. I will keep it to myself. As you would see, this is one side of my little placard, and then I have the other side. And if you notice, 2024. Now what? My understanding is there is... Um, no time frame on uh, a murder case. However, I think he said um, earlier on that there probably might be a time frame as to when you can file a lawsuit and when you cannot. But I am going to take it from what was said in here today. I'll go to the drawing board and I'll chatter away forward with this case. It's quite apparent that the police have left the case for me to solve. I'm not a police officer. I'm not. And so I will go to the drawing board and chatter away forward. Kimberly De Leon was an accountant attached to the Ministry of Education at the time of her death. Meanwhile, mother of one of the Viewfort 5 victims, Alan Louisi, spoke to our news crew following the DPP's press conference. While she did not express elation with the recommendation that the implicated police officers be arrested and interviewed, she was slightly satisfied with the move forward. Well, not everything, but as I always say, this battle is not mine, but it's the Lord's. And that's about it. A little. We have the family we have for, forgiven him, but justice must be served. And that's about it. And as we always say, the Lord neither slumber nor sleeps. And the battle there today and years gone by is not ours, the family is the Lord. And with Christ as a, your captain, you're sure to win. The DPP's last public update was in July 2021.